Hello guys, Antor here, and welcome back to City Skylines. This time we are playing Parkloff. I've been very lucky to get a code from Paradox Interactive because they noticed my series and I asked for one at the same time. So it worked out very well. And uh, it's currently May 16th. The game doesn't come out until, or the expansion doesn't come out until like, uh, I think the 24th. Let me confirm that. Yeah, so the launch date isn't until May 24th at midnight. Uh, I think... Eastern time? I'm not always sure what uh, CEST is. I don't know if that's Central time or Eastern time. But anyways, it, it's out at midnight at some point on May 24th. Uh, and I'm allowed to upload this on the 18th at 3 p.m. Uh, that's when my embargo is up. So in two days. So I'm going to go ahead and be getting some of the videos up for you guys. Because uh, why not? It'd be really fun. Uh, as you guys know, I've been playing a lot of uh, Sea Skylines with doing Cities and Coffee. as pretty much my reoccurring series right now. Um, and more of that is going to be coming because yeah, I've actually done two cities uh, before. Like, I've recorded enough to be uh, through two cities. I've completely completed the game twice. Uh, even though you guys are still in the first one. I've just recorded that much. Uh, so... <laughs> Whoopsies. Um, I actually tried recording this before, uh, and I had webcam on and everything, but uh, the game crashed. Don't know why. And then I decided to turn off the webcam just because I, I felt like I was blocking some stuff and everything. So here we are. But we have Mountain Meadows as a new uh, map, which is awesome. Uh, it's the one we're going to be choosing because we're going to go in order. Then we have Pine Rivers, which I did not see when I checked before. And it looks actually really fun. I love all the rivers that it actually has there. And it's suitable area for building. It's really high. Um, so I'm ha happy about that. Then we have Windfield, which again looks really nice. I'm not sure if that's a road in the middle. I guess it is because that looks like a cloverleaf or one of those intersections. Um... Then we have Cavern Coast, which actually, that looks really fun because of all of this. It looks like you could build some really nice things around here. And then Honu Island, I'm guessing that's how that's said. Apologies if not. Um, which looks fun. Low, uh, suitable area for building, of course. Uh, but it looks interesting, to say the least. And uh, I believe that is it. Yes, it is. So, like I said, we're going to start with Mountain Meadows. And we are going to name it, because uh, I like to stay with the name, uh, pretty good we could do meadow uh village even though it's not going to be a village but you know that's fine but we're going to start this up and i'll be back with you when it actually loads uh it'll take just a minute as you can see my loading screen mod is not working i do have a few mods actually installed uh i still have my movement mod i still have precision engineering uh, I still have uh, some of the extra roads, I believe. I'm not entirely sure. I had to turn off Traffic Manager and had to turn off a zonable version that I use as well. Uh, and this... This is broken now because I need to restart the game, I think. Oh, no. All right, we are back. Sorry about that. Uh, one thing that happens with Ultimate Eye Candy is if you leave a game and you go out to the main menu and back into another map... It will just not work anymore and make it always not time. So uh, you have to restart the game, which I have done, obviously, and we are all good to go. So I'm just placing my first road here to go ahead and unlock the one ways. And um, there's going to be some things you see me do that I've not done in a series before, but I've done it in a series that I have done that you'll see probably after this. Uh, so just, you know, let it be known that uh, I've tested these to a degree and they seem to work. And I've actually had another 100,000 population city um, past the one that I'm, oh, is already up on the channel that uh, worked very well with this. Uh, also, I'm going to mention that if you want to get this game uh, when it launches on uh, May 24th, and even if, um, you know, maybe it uh, is pre-orderable, I will have a Humble Bundle link in the description below, which helps me and it also helps charity. Uh, so if you want to get that, please do. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I would appreciate it very much. And uh, leave a like and comment and all the good stuff. Uh, even just if you want to just say first. Because I like those comments. <laughs> I'm one of the few. But anyways, uh, this is something that I tested when I was uh, making my own city. Uh, so basically what I'm doing is I build a lawn like this. Uh, and this is going to be a highway eventually. Um, I did have a mod installed where I could dezone this, which I can't do now. 
uh, that's why we're going to just leave it as is and make sure we remember to do so later. Uh, but one thing I like to do is I like to get, I, I really like these roads now, which I never really did before. Um, but I use them pretty religiously now. Um, and it's going to be my road to this. And uh, I use them a lot now because this is going to be uh, sort of, I, I, I read some stuff. I tried to learn a little bit more about c so I could be better at it for the videos. And... Um, Essentially, you build main roads to get through, and then you build little tiny roads, which I'll be doing with this off of it. So, and then commercial will be off this, and residential will be in the middle. Industrial will be off all of this, pretty much. But you'll be able to see what I mean in the future. Uh, it won't take me too long to get there. Uh, and I think it works. I've been using it for the last little bit, and I've had like really good success. So I'm hoping that it does end up working. And uh, this here is the sort of I guess intersection uh, that I've been using to start out with. It's been very convenient. Even with the traffic lights, I've not had it back up um, because I end up adding more and more and the city parts of the cities are more uh, sectioned off. So I'm hoping that that stays true and doesn't hurt me now that I'm actually recording. Uh, we'll see. And as you can see, I still have City Vitals enabled, and I still have um, a couple mods here I can show you. I have Ultimate Eye Candy, Fun Road, Anarchy. Uh, this one doesn't even work. Uh, auto Budget V2, which I've found to be very nice. Uh, I still have the one that auto demolishes things as well. I have Precision, precision, precision <laughs> Engineering. I can speak, I promise. Uh, tree Fire Control and Move It, which I use a lot. Um, so yeah. That's just to kind of let you know what I'm using and uh, while I'm using it, you'll end up being able to see um, as I go on. So yeah, this is going to start out semi-gritty, uh, semi-grid-like, I guess you could say, um, as I get into things here. Uh, in fact, look at that is not what I wanted. Um, in fact, I might not even do that. I might just do this. And that fills that area. There we go. Uh, just because it's a very easy way to start. Everything is zonable. And there's like no worries. Um, I know a lot of people hate when, you know, people do all grid stuff. Including my audience has before. Uh, but it's just so much easier. And that's how I'm going to have to do it for now. Just to make life uh, easier on ourselves. So we're going to put these semi-close just to save some money. Because obviously this is going to cost a little bit to link up. Um, and like I said, none of this is going to be zoned all through here. Uh, it's just going to be these little inside bits that I have now made. Um, so I don't have to worry about covering them, which I've still done a terrible job there. Uh, so here we are. But I'm very excited for the park life stuff. I think it looks great. I did uh, briefly, uh, I can show you here. Uh, I did briefly look through what you get, and I believe everything comes, yeah, when you become a tiny town. So you get uh, park areas, which you can uh, use to build specialized park of varying sizes, which is really cool. There's park policies, which we're going to be checking out. Uh, you get parks and plazas, of course. You get football, all that good stuff. Um, you can, I guess, yeah, so there's pet ban, which I think that's always been a thing. I just don't remember. Uh, so there's prefer parks where tourists uh, seem like they actually prefer that, which I think is really cool. I'm really excited about that. Um, there's park maintenance now, and that's boosting it. You actually have to worry about making that now. Uh, there's animal ethic e ethnics, uh, because there's actually zoos now. I completely forgot about that. I'm very excited to be building that. Um, yeah, so advertising the park throughout the city to have more visitors, of course. Uh, then there's the main park, which, you know, if we make a central park, that's going to be perfect, and I'm excited for that. Uh, there's a thing for fireworks, where they do it literally every single night. Uh, so we'll be having that, and then there's night tours, uh, there's even more fun, which I don't know what this is, actually. Amusement park buildings, uh, are maintained super well, causing them to be even more fun than usual. Okay, didn't know that was a thing, that's awesome. Um... That's going to be something that I think is going to be really interesting to, you know, go into all this and be, you know, a little bit more like a mayor, really. And there's nature preserve paths, or reserve paths, rather. Uh, park paths, amusement park paths, zoo paths, park paths, yet again. Uh, there's just a lot now, and I'm really excited for it. And there's amusement park fence, all these different uh, fences as well. 
Uh, I don't know if there's much different in the way of this. There's park maintenance buildings. I've not noticed any different uh, ploppable buildings yet. Um, and I've decided this time I am going to mess with the tram because I think that would be fun. I've not done that before. And there's walking tours. There's regular tours as well, um, which we'll be setting up. This reminds me of the big bus tour that you get in London just because of the double-decker bus. Um, yeah, so we'll be doing like all the trams and stuff because I think it could be fun and maybe even a way of, you know, getting people around uh, like pretty, pretty easily, I hope. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know if there's anything else yeah so sightseeing bus tours of course uh boost connections outside connections okay so even more tourists jeez but that cost a lot a week that's insane um so that'll be like much much later on uh but that'll be fun because i think that's going to be easy enough to get to and then now just make more money and so on and so forth um but I think everything else, I think all of this, I don't know if anything else actually... Okay, so yeah, there's hot air balloon tours. I thought it was, like, done at that point. Uh, we'll obviously keep some of this, like, you know, we'll just, I think, end up being surprised uh, to a degree. But at the same time, I think at this point, there's not much more uh, unlocks. Um, but I know there's a lot of little things that are going to be hidden. And primarily, we're going to be making our own uh, stuff. So I think that's going to be fun. Uh, so one thing we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and plop our um, coal power plant, which we'll do on this side just because it makes more sense for them coming off this way. Uh, and we'll do it much like this. And then we'll just bring this down here and on over. So that'll power all of that area. And then we'll go ahead and do this as well to start powering where the residential is going to be. Uh, and as for residential, it's all through here, which this I'm obviously going to have to section on my own. Uh, so it'll be a lot like that. And we'll do it... Uh, I don't really want it touching that bit of road, uh, just for noise pollution and stuff like that. Um, so we'll do like this, because I think that'll work pretty well. And then the rest of this will all be commercial to here. And that should hopefully build in pretty well. And uh, all of this will start becoming industrial. Which I could just pop that down, but that's fine. Make it more difficult on myself. Uh, but that, I think, is good to go. So we can go ahead and play. And uh, see if it works. Hopefully it does. And in true Cities and Coffee fashion, even though this isn't technically Season Coffee, but in reality it is, I have coffee. So, oh. Now it's just more awkward because you can't see. But uh, is anything going to build in here? I'm hoping so. Because there should be the desire soon enough. But maybe for now I'll do that just to make people happy. So there we go. And that should, in theory, um, get everything kind of going. And make everyone happy. So commercial will start building in uh, as it is there. Once it gets down here, I'll just delete that power line. But yeah, I feel like this is a very good way to start. Um, I've not had any issues with it thus far. And I feel like it's done pretty well for me. Um, that's why I'm using it, of course. Uh, but one thing I could do... Wow, we got population up pretty quick, actually. One thing I could do is I could go ahead and just start, start expanding this even more. Uh, because it really doesn't hurt. So I could come, come back like that. I don't think that'll hurt anybody. Um... So as you can see, everyone coming in, uh, it's, it tends to run pretty smoothly. I say that, and now this will probably be the time that it's going to end up being like terrible and <laughs> everything will get all crowded. Uh, but hopefully not. I've not had that happen, um, so hopefully we don't have that issue now, uh, just to spot me. So we'll do something like that. We'll go ahead and uh, give it coverage as well. Oh, okay, we're a little hamlet already, which the first thing I'm going to do is pause. I'm going to build this there. And uh, so we have, we need landfill, of course, first. Um, which I didn't make quite enough room, but I did make enough room there. So there we go, we have a landfill. Uh, and then we're going to automatically build, do I want a school? I feel like a school's a good bet uh, to build instantly. 
So we will have a school there, and then once we have the money, we will build a medical clinic. Um, I don't know why education just feels like it's been doing better for me when I build it quicker, so that's what I'm going for for now. Um, but yeah, so I obviously have this little crossover for now. <laughs> Quite a steep one, but it's fun. Um, and then next, I'll be doing a roundabout to like an area out here. And then later down the line, it'll just be more crossovers and such, which I'm going to have to curve it when I get over here, but that will be fine. Uh, so we can go ahead and actually plop all this area in, which will then drive more residential uh, desire, which is fine here, actually, because I can do just that, which I need to place this down properly, like so. And the next thing we can do is... Uh, Make sure I have the right thing selected. Yes, I do. And I can kind of just come in like this. Build with what's already there, which shamefully I'm going to have to delete that one place. Do something like this. Uh, I don't really want to put it around the corner. I'm trying to keep the bit of room between that and that. Um, this still hasn't built in quite yet, so I'm going to just leave it as is. And uh, we'll just do the... Okay, we don't have the money yet. That's fine. That should uh, recoup, though, pretty well. Uh, they're missing a bit of water up here, which I can fix like so. Yes, perfect. All right, not too shabby. And we can go ahead and actually uh, start adding in this, and it will fill up, and I'll be able to fill in the water really quickly. Uh, so we'll do... Uh, like that. And we just need a little bit more money to be able to finish this out. I feel like when you start, you know, a city, you're not really doing it right if you're not almost in debt constantly. <laughs> so we are a worthy village now, so we're very close already to be able to start getting uh, parks and stuff like that unlocked. Uh, so it won't take very long from here. And we can go ahead and put more uh, of this in. Uh, this I'll, I mean, I could put in more here, but maybe I'll just leave the gap for now. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, my, my goal with this is sorted to have, you know, the grid system works very well. You'll see in the next series I do of Cities and Coffee. Uh, it works very, very well. Uh, but I think I'll end up, um, you know, start getting curvy along this bit. And when I get, you know, out to, like, certain areas like here, I think it's going to have to be. Um, but as I'm doing it now, I'm kind of doing it for uh, efficiency's sake. Uh, just because when starting out, it works well. And then I can transform this to a downtown later. Um, because I think it being more gridlock makes life easier later on anyways. So that's sort of what I'm going for. Uh, so, one thing I could do is I could go ahead and bring this on down this way. And I'm going to pause it, actually, because I just realized I'm at this point. So, we can go ahead and get a medical clinic in here, uh, which I feel like that's pretty good coverage. Uh, fire department can't quite afford, can't quite afford this yet. That's fine. Uh, just make sure I'm not missing out anything too important. So this I'll be able to afford in like two thousand, yeah, two thousand dollars or a thousand dollars basically. Um, the reason I put in this road is because now I can build more uh, residential off this bit as well. This might back up, um, but if so, I'll just round about it at some point. Um, but for now, it should be all right. So we can come down this way a little bit and go ahead and start adding. Uh, just another way through. Uh, in fact, I might not even do that. I might just make it some separate little neighborhood. And uh, maybe we could do this one a bit different. I'm trying to think of a way to do it, but keeping with the more straight of roads. Um, that might be kind of weird. <laughs> but you know. We'll, we'll try it and see what happens. And that's... This sort of works. Hmm. Maybe if I just bring this in slightly. There we go. Doesn't look quite as bad. And then, uh... 
Maybe you can bring another bit out this way. Could line that up, actually. I mean, that's not the worst thing I've ever made. <laughs> Maybe that's too many. There might be too many uh, intersections there. I'll just leave it like that. And there we go. We're already a tiny town. Uh, so we have the ability to start doing some parks, which we will do very, very shortly. Uh, once we're a little bit safe on money, which honestly we are right now, so I'm not really uh, too concerned. Um, this might look good once stuff is actually in here. It's a bit funky, um, and by a bit I mean very. But, you know, changes it up a bit, so why not? And then like that, maybe. That'd be fun. I mean, it's just a four-way intersection, just a little bit janky. Uh, wow, so the Parks and Plaza thing does look different, that's for sure. Okay, yeah, there is definitely some different stuff here, isn't there? Alright, so we have... Uh, what is this? So, City Park. Okay, yeah, so there's a lot of stuff... Wow, there's a lot of stuff to put down. Oh. Okay, I'm excited for this. I'm very excited for this. Uh, and then there's Amusement Park, which again is going to be so cool. Yeah, there's Zoo. Uh, nature reserve so we'll be doing city park first um, just because it's uh, it makes the most sense I think and uh, I'm excited to actually start with this so let's go ahead and just build that down hopefully this won't build up too much there's a bit of a police problem over here which we have enough to put one in now uh, so we could actually we can pop it in there that'll help a little bit and we can go ahead and delete this uh, because it won't be needed uh, anymore uh, so that's fun. So the police problem should hopefully be solved for there a little bit. Um, one thing I can do later on is I can connect these areas by, via like a little tunnel. Uh, I did find that that helped loosen up this traffic a bit later on. Um, so you know, we'll, we'll see how that goes, but, uh, for now we'll stay on the path that we're sort of on. So let's go and come down this way. Like this. Just pop one down like that, and we're good there. Um, and then, just in between to get this filled in, we'll actually put a fire department. Uh, so that'll actually kind of sync up, or, or link up uh, this anyway. So we can go ahead and we'll have to switch to this bad boy. Because this is something I'm going to have to make sure I place correctly. Actually, this should be pretty easy to just fill in. Uh, yep. And this I'm okay with putting residential there, I think. So. And then this can be all residential. <laughs> it's gonna be the funkiest residential I think I've made, but it was worth trying something new. So there we go. And we'll st treat strategically. I promise I can speak, just not today for some reason. Um, buy new spots and uh, plots of land and all that and be able to actually make this uh, nicer which right now I don't know where I would buy I think I would want to buy around this at some point that looks like it could be a fun park or something uh, depending on yeah it's pretty flat and over here looks fun could make like a hilltop park um, but yeah so there we go we got that going um, so one thing I think I could do there is this little area here uh, and that tells me that's a good area for a park. <laughs> that's what I'm seeing, at least. Um, so, let's go ahead and do just that. Uh, so, our water availability and stuff looks a bit low. That's just because the auto budget is doing its thing. Uh, it makes sure that we're getting a lot of money in. Uh, which is always really good. So, uh, am I in the right one? Yes, I am. This kind of... Okay, there we go. Sort of goes over it a bit. So, does this link up to the road? Okay, no, so you gotta like put it around the edge, I guess. So I guess you would put it like here. Well, sure, actually. I like how it just had seats off of it, though. That was really nice. Maybe I can do. See, so, yeah, I wanna link it from here. To probably about here. Okay, so that links up. And then we'll, uh. This is where we will get curvy a bit. this and then maybe 
just come up to that corner. This looks really cool, actually. I didn't know what to expect with it, but they've done very well with the detailing. So I'm excited. <laughs> I'm like, really? <laughs> this is probably one of the most exciting things that they've added to the game for me thus far. Because this is what I've always wanted. Uh, so can I get it, like... There we go. I can get it there. Um, so yeah, they have a park fence, which is pretty cool. Don't know... How... Okay, I see. I don't really think I need a park fence, but it's kind of a neat concept. So, do I unlock this, like, later on, or... Okay, so it needs to be a park area first. Which I'm guessing you do with the district. Paint park area. A race park area. Okay, perfect. That makes life easy. So, let's go ahead. And we will do just that. And I don't know if you can get buildings in there, but I don't want to accidentally, like, make them knock down or something. Uh, so let's do that. So Walnut City. Oh, that is so cool. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Oh, I don't know. It seems kind of weird. Why, why would it be Walnut City Park? By the way, I renamed the place. I forgot to say that. Meadow Valley Park. So maybe we can call this just uh, Meadow Park. Nope. There we go. So that'll be pretty cool. And I think that's a good name, actually. Uh, as for policies, we won't really worry about any of that yet, uh, because I don't know what I'm doing. And here we go, we actually have things to plop down, which I'm guessing some of these might take a little bit longer. Oh, so that's for our park gate. Okay, that makes sense. So this is... Okay, so we're a boom town now, which is awesome. Uh, so we actually have the highways, which I will uh, fix some stuff later on with that. Um, what was this? So, yeah, the main gate, I guess you can just pop down anywhere. That's pretty cool, though. I think I will put that there. Oh, okay, so uh, you unlock stuff with putting that down. So I've got the side gate, park plaza, park booth, uh, info booth, park restrooms, and park cafe. Oh, <laughs> I'm excited about this. <laughs> Way too excited, probably. Uh, so park maintenance building. That's something that I do want to actually get down now, uh, more so than later. So I'm going to put that, I'll put it here, because that'll be good for this area. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, let's get our... It's so nice just seeing them walk on it. Uh, let's go ahead and get uh, what we need here. i got to find where everything is now because I'm like all confused. Everything's new. That looks different. Well, this... Uh, I don't know if move it will actually work on these. Oh, it will. Okay. It's just the way it... Okay, there we go. It, it, the way it was down made it look very awkward, but that's much, much better. Uh, thank you, Move It, for existing, <laughs> as always. Uh, so there we go, we got that. Um, and then the Park Plaza. Okay, oh, that's cool. So you just put it off of this, and I guess it makes yeah people happy. We could put it there. I feel like that's a pretty good little spot. And then I guess people will start to gather in that bit. Um, wow, I could see the need for, like, actually some very, very large parks, which is, again, fun. So we can pop that down there. And then restrooms, I feel like it's always good to have near the entrance. So there we are. Was this a uh, cafe? I don't even want to know that, right? How much do these cost? So 48 a week. Yeah, so it's worth it. Um, maybe just, like, right here. Right off the road. And that's pretty cool. And the benches and stuff is really fun. So I guess you can just plop them down anywhere. Uh, there's park signs. Table sets. Which, yeah, we will make sure to put a lot of these down. Uh, yeah, extra lots. Is that like a chess? It looks like it. Looks like it has a thing to play chess on it. Uh, trash bin. Flower bed. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Um, what are all these? So this is food stall. Okay. Like a food truck. Oh, ice cream van. Sandbox. Oh, that could be fun. Kind of make like a little playground here. Old cannon. Sandbox 2. I say make a little playground. It had like one thing. Uh, but that's fun. 
They just put like a little flower bed down there. Nice and pretty. And then, uh, we'll put some trash bins in. Just, you know, extra security. Maybe like buy these a bit. Make sure they don't litter. Uh, park tiles. Oh, I see. So you could put it technically under this. So don't have to worry about that. That's really cool, actually. Ooh. So many things. <laughs> I think that'll be pretty good, though. Um, so side gate. Yeah, so this is like where it would be, I guess. So maybe I need it to be... Yeah, maybe I do need to paint it out to there. That's fine, though. I can do that. Paint it out to there. Uh, I can paint this to here. And I'll paint that up there a bit better. And I can just expand it pretty much as much as I want. Um, this way. And I could even make this all a park. Uh, which could be really fun, actually. Uh, it feels like a good way to... Not waste space, but to fill in space and make it look, you know, like it should. Because uh, why not? So this is backing up a little bit, but I, I think it's okay. Um, one thing is, uh, it's a lot of pedestrians blocking traffic. Uh, I'll make some paths for them later on, and uh, you can kind of see how I've done that. And it seems to work pretty well. Uh, same issue with here. Uh, well, same thing with here. Uh, I kind of do some paths just to make life easy. I will have to take out some businesses, but... I don't care. <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, keep working on this bit. So we have a small park main gate, park side gate. So kind of, ah, there we go. So it automatically just goes on. Maybe I can do something like that and fix it up. I can re readjust the path. Um, I'll actually pause it and just rebuild this bit to go to it like more properly. Um, so if I want to do like this, I can just bring it out this way, come around and sync up that way, and this one can come on down to here, and that'll look pretty good, and that one's automatically just synced up, it looks like, which is awesome. Um, so I think that's all pretty good. Uh, I could make another branch that sort of... comes up like so, and then it can, can kind of just have a little loop. A lot of parks where I live do this. Thought that would, thought that would go a bit better. Um, it's not like that's okay. And then uh, back to this, and we will because there's the intersection here. I feel like that's quite a good spot um, to kind of link these up because the pedestrians are already crossing at these points. So there we go. And I guess really could just make it another gate because I guess it makes it realize that it is where you need to be coming, which, you know, I should have built before I actually built these down, but that's fine. They can be, uh, they can be redone. But I'm guessing this makes it where uh, everything's a bit better. I don't know. So there we go. That's fine. Um, and then, what is under here now? Like, is it still... Yeah, so it's still like pathways. Oh, and there's this now. Park path. Oh, so it's under here as well. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. So there's, yeah, the different ones. This is really cool, actually. Okay, so one thing I'm going to do, like I said, I was going to... Uh, just to alleviate some of this traffic before it gets bad. Um... Which I need the straight piece here. Hopefully I can build up. No, I cannot. And I'm building it there. That's fine though. I can kind of make it work by doing this, I think. Yes. And then just first place I can put it down. Which I don't want to do the first place. I actually want to make it look nice. Um, so like that. And that put it. That's where I put the school. That's fine though. Because I can do... Can I actually get it in here? Mm, still wants to try to snap to it right now. Yeah, that's fine. I can build 
I can build around it a bit. It's always awkward when it wants to stick to something. Uh, maybe like that. And I'm gonna turn off road anarchy for this just because I prefer it to go a bit more straight. Gotta turn this off again. It should, in theory, fix it. Eh. Nope, it still just really wants to snap to that bit. <laughs> I just want to go straight. Maybe if I build it from here, if it'll let me. No, it won't. Maybe I can just maybe I can do this. What I'm trying to do is make uh, basically just a big crosswalk that makes life easier for all pedestrians and they don't have to worry about, you know, anything. Why did I do that? Or why did it do that? That wasn't even me. <laughs> so we can do something like that. And they might build in there, I don't know. Uh, so that does that pretty well. Um, it's very steep, I'll be honest. I'll pretend there's stairs there instead. <laughs> Um, can I do this and this and just won't build a thing? Yes. <laughs> That's exactly what they'll do. But it's not very believable, is it? I wish it kind of just had one of these to be able to, to put down there, but it doesn't want to work that way, sadly. Um, but I guess in reality, you know, if they want to get up here, they can do that. If they want to get up here, they can walk around and do that. So that should... In my mind, it works. I can even do uh, this. Sure, why not? I can even do this and make it easier for him to get around that way. Um, and then they can come around that way to go down. There we go. That might work a little bit. I don't know. I think they're still going to want to take this annoyingly. Uh, just because I can't set this up perfect how I want it to go. Yeah, I still won't be taking that. Um, but it does alleviate some of it, so I'm going to say that that's an okay success. Um, I do see less people down here, so that's something. Uh, obviously, a lot of them that want to cross this bit of street, it's a bit of a hassle just going around doing that. Uh, when there's perfectly fine crosswalks there, but that'll help some, uh, so it's fine by me. Um... As for the park, I don't know what I want to do with it, actually. I don't know. What is this? So this is park chessboard, so you have to... Oh, you level them up. Oh, okay. How does that happen? <laughs> oh, does it cost money to get into it? That's a bit weird. But, I mean, people are visiting, so I guess it's fun. And it's leveling up, so okay, sure. Um, yeah, I didn't actually know that it cost money to get into, but that's fun. I'll leave it be. Um, and I guess we can build some more in that time, because I got a bit distracted building a park, uh, as I usually will probably in this entire thing. Uh, so I'm going to build out uh, this way. Actually, maybe I'll do it more up this way to alleviate a bit of traffic from this point. Um, and like so-ish. <laughs> uh, and then we can maybe bring these to fruition at some point. Or maybe I won't, actually. I don't know. I'll do this. There we go. And that should stay. Okay. Um, and then for this, we can go ahead and come on down this way a little bit more. And then we'll be able to build more off this. Uh, like so. And uh, we can come on down. Dang it. Close, but not quite. Uh, so electricity's getting below. I think that means that we need another one. Yes, we do. Uh, so we'll go ahead and just pop another uh, coal thing here. And that'll be fun. We luckily had the money. Uh, water availability, I don't know what we actually have for that. Um, like, I'm not sure where our capability is. So we can go up to 120,000, but we're only doing 73, so yeah, we're fine there. Um, you kind of have to know the numbers a little bit to fight against this. Oh, we have trams. Oh, that was quick. I didn't realize I unlocked that so quickly. So, the only problem with trams, I don't know if they do... 
Ah, they do, okay. So I can do that. Okay, that's, that's really nice, actually. So I could upgrade this entire road to have a tram. Hopefully. <laughs> I'm hoping this goes as I, as I desire. I uh, don't know why it has this. Oh, I guess because it just ends. But I'm guessing what I do is I just make a thing off of it that somehow sorts it out. I don't know. Uh, we'll be finding out. <laughs> so where's the tram at? Oh, the tours. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, we've got a lot to do. I'm very excited about that. So tram depot. Ooh, it cost a good chunk of money. Ooh, okay, that's fine, though. We'll... We can make it happen. Um, one thing I might do... Oh, I see. It can just go straight onto it. I like that. Because it's right at the end. So there we go. And it's going to need some of that. And uh, power as well, which we can do in the form of maybe filling it in with commercial. Because uh, that should build in. Right? Maybe. So this needs a way to turn around, doesn't it? Um, that's my guess, at least. So yeah, that's slowly building in. Uh, we could even pop in a park if we felt the need. Um, I mean, I like a good dog park as much as anyone. There we go. And that'll help the area even more, which will be good. Uh, so yeah, we need a way for this to be able to turn around. Um, which I guess in reality, I could just loop this. Uh, might actually be an easy way instead of having to add on more. Uh, so let's just do that. There we go. So it's kind of a nice little way of getting through that way. And that should loop that up pretty well. And I don't know if I make... Is this tram lines? Yes, it is. Okay. Um, so I'm going to try to be strategic about this if I can. So let's just say one starts here. Um, it can stop here at this bit, which will make life easy. We'll stop it here uh, at the park. Um, and then on the way back, it can stop in front of the elementary school, uh, in front of this neighborhood uh, right here, just for good reasons. And then we'll say, I guess, here and complete the line. Oh, it needs another way to turn around, doesn't it? Uh, but that's fine, because I can quickly just do... Bring this down, and then I'll make another little road here. Because eventually I'll want to make this a uh, place anyways. So there we go, and then it can come into here. Oh wait, no, I don't mean to do that. And then, am I continuing it? Yes, I am. And then, back to there. There we go. So, an actual tram, uh, which I'm excited to actually be using. <laughs> kind of a first. So, I'm guessing that'll go well. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, so they get on via this. Oh, I didn't even realize it was all in the middle. Okay. That makes sense, though. I kind of imagined it on the outside. I don't know why. Um... But no, that works pretty fantastically. It's being well used already, too, which is really cool. Um, so, okay. Let's go ahead and uh, go back to the old roads here. And uh, let's start this new area uh, that we're going to work on. And our park is level 2. So we have the park chessboard, park pier, and park pier 2. So I guess you can make little bits of water in it. If, or if it has water already you know, around it, you can do that. So that's really neat. And uh, we'll go ahead and just make another new neighborhood here, uh, as we have been, uh, really. Uh, and then go ahead and come on down this way. That should be fine, why not? Um, maybe we can connect this area, make it like a general bigger area. Uh, and then it connects them to the tram line as well just to fill in that little area. I don't know if this made noise, actually. I didn't pay attention. So it does. So if I just don't build in... Maybe if I do, like, you know, this as commercial. 
and then bring this as residential. That should be okay. Uh, I think. And then this can become another little park, or even just a branch of this park. And maybe this will end up being the main park for the city. Um, because I think having a park along the entire outside could be really fun. Let me go ahead and pop this up before I forget. Or, well, I've already forgotten, obviously, but before it becomes a problem, or more of a problem. <laughs> and I'll go ahead and pop up this area too. And now uh, we can go ahead and turn it into industrial. And go ahead and get it, uh, the ball sort of rolling on that. I'll just do the outside because I want to fill in that inside a bit more. So there we are. Uh, in fact, I'll just put that on in because I can always come back. Um, okay, so that should be filling in. That's all good, fine and dandy and all the such. Um, how's water doing? So, yeah, we're still doing fine on that. And we could go ahead and just, I guess, start checking out how we're doing on these bits. So we will need a cemetery soon, uh, which I think will do fine. Uh, right here, it seems to get most coverage that way. Um, hospital, we do have more of a need for, so I can just pop one down there. Uh, obviously, we need a little bit of help with uh, probably police down here shortly as well, but that's okay. Uh, because it should be just fine, I think. And uh, for more residential, we can just build off this bit down here. And uh, since we're actually... I think this will be the end of this road that I end up doing. Um, so I think I'll go ahead and start this. Oh, that was weird. I don't know why it's doing that. <laughs> why does it keep just deleting? Okay, there we go. That was odd. Just really did not want to build there. And we'll do that because we can continue it down the line. Uh, obviously, and uh, we can go ahead and maybe pop like this. It's, okay, are we running low on power? Is the thing just going weird on power? I think the thing's just going weird on power. Uh, the budget should fix itself to fix that. Unless we're just not connected very well. Oh, we're just not connected. Okay, yeah, that makes more sense. <laughs> Let's do that. There we go. Something must have deleted there. Um, okay, so that'll be fun. And then we can maybe come up here. Like so. And then just like a little tidbit in here. Sort of making like little cul-de-sacs. I guess this is the way to look at it. And that should be fun. Oh, so yeah, it actually has two stars now. So a star is per level. That makes sense. And then, like this, and this, and there we are. And then this can all just become uh, residential. Pretty much all the way through. And I think that'll be very good. Hopefully this doesn't become a problem with flooding, if so I can put up a flood wall. Uh, which I'm very bad at using, so I'm sure it'll make more floods than it'll actually prevent. But it'll be there, and that's the important thing. <laughs> uh, so like this. There we are. And we can go ahead and just pop that all in too. Um, so another thing is, I'm guessing it's good to make the parks as big as you want. Like if I want to just do this, I guess that's fun. Because uh, I feel like it's a good sort of thing. Just to have one massive park. I'm kind of thinking again like all us, you know, Central Park. Um, so I'm hoping that'll be fine. I'm hoping you can kind of build over houses. Because that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm just going to kind of hope that they stay. And then like that. So I'm guessing that'll be fine. There we go. So Meadow Park is definitely expanding. Uh, let's check our schooling here while we... Actually, police. That's more important, I think, right now. Uh, if I put it here, that seems to have pretty good coverage. Here, not so much, but here, better. So we'll do that. 
should be okay. Um, obviously, once we get the big ones, it'll be even better. Uh, which is probably soon. Yeah, so 4,600. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, I guess actually we probably should end here because I just realized I've been going for about 50 minutes. Uh, some of that is going to be cut out, obviously, with uh, some of the stuff I did. But this seems to be used well. Everything seems to be going all right. Uh, one thing I am going to do before we end, actually, is I'm going to take this and uh, put something there again, dang it. I keep putting stuff where I know I need to pass. Close to intersections is not a good idea. So. I'm just kind of do this. Uh, then here I can maybe just come out this way a bit. Then down. Mm. <laughs> it's not beautiful. Uh, in any way, shape, or form. But it's functional. That's all I need. I'll kind of just do the same back this way. There we go. And uh, one thing I can do here is uh, just as a way of crossing the road. I'll do the fun road uh, or the anarchy here so I don't have to worry about it. Just make sure it's not looking too silly. That's actually fine by me. Uh, and then we'll do the same here. Uh, where I can... Yeah, I mean, that looks a bit weird. Of course. Uh, like, that's not too bad. Yeah, that because that's enough space. Um, so that works. Let me go ahead and turn that off. So that'll keep people um, off of crossing this road. As you can see, it's been used really well. Uh, there's some people still determined to use uh, the, like, sort of roadside bit, but that's fine. Um, one thing I can do before we go as well is I can go and upgrade this to a two-lane highway. Uh, because that's ultimately the choice that'll be good here, I think. Uh, so we'll do it like this. Oh. Can I, like, oops. Uh, let me do this just so it doesn't delete anything. <laughs> Alright, so I have to repair that now. build anything off these luckily uh, and then I'll go ahead and repair this uh, which was just like that and then the one that went across here-ish I guess might actually be a little bit too close uh, let me delete that one there we go that's a bit better um, and then I think that's all good again yeah so, just makes people go a little bit faster, uh, and things work out a little bit better, I think. Uh, but as you can see, it's working pretty well. It's getting a little bit busy, obviously, with, you know, some stuff starting to happen. Um, as to be expected, as we grow to this size. Uh, but I should be able to sort of, uh, circumvent that a bit, uh, when I start getting more ways into the city. Because, obviously, it's for all of this right now. Um, in a... Uh, the next episode, I'm actually going to just go and put a roundabout here that will connect to here. Uh, so that should get rid of some of uh, the people trying to go this way. Uh, and it should be good. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll talk to you guys in the next episode of Sea Skylines Park Life. And uh, yeah, goodbye.